Hi, my name is Daniel Bay. I'm a dentist working in Massachusetts. Let me start by asking you a question. Do you think it's worse in terms of causing tooth decay, these donuts or these bananas? Just before we answer, let's look at this picture of a tooth. Tooth decay is outlined by the dark lesion and it occurs because of the bacteria that are attached to your teeth. When you eat food containing sugar or other dietary carbohydrate, these bacteria digest the sugar and produce acid that essentially melts your teeth away. Dental decay starts on the outermost layer and then move inwards. When you eat food, these bacteria produce an acidic environment almost instantaneously and then lasts about 30 minutes. Going back to the question, these four donuts and these seven large bananas have similar amount of total carbohydrate. Just for the sake of this example, let's pretend that these two have the exactly the same amount of total carbohydrates. Let's say on one day, I eat four donuts within five minutes because they are delicious. And on another separate day, I eat four bananas in the morning and three bananas in the afternoon. In both of these days, I ate the same amount of carbs. In terms of causing dental decay, which case do you think is worse? It's actually the banana. The frequency of exposure is extremely important in dentistry. When you eat something with sugar, these bacteria create an acidic environment instantaneously and it lasts about 30 minutes. And we count this as one acidic exposure. In the case for donuts, I had one acidic exposure and in the case of the banana, I had two separate exposure. This is why a banana example would be worse in terms of causing dental decay. However, banana of course is superior in terms of health. In this, with this knowledge, let's look at another example. If I eat two donuts now and wait 30 minutes and eat the remainder two, I would have two acidic exposure and thus I would be better off if I had all four of them in one go. Next comparison is between gummy bears and apple juice. Having everything else equal, do you think juice is better or worse in comparison to these jellies? In terms of causing tooth decay, jellies would be worse. Sticky food are not great for your teeth. Have you ever had a Sour Patch Kid in the morning and then realized that some is stuck between your teeth in the late afternoon? Assuming that the Sour Patch Kid had enough sugar, every 30 in minutes will be interval will count as one exposure. From morning to late afternoon, that will be a lot of exposure. One thing about apple juice is that many parents give it to their children at the end of the meals as a treat. We suggest to give the juice to enjoy during the meals to decrease the number of exposure. The next item is diet soda. Diet soda has zero grams of sugar. No food for the bacteria. Yes. Just before we celebrate, let me remind you the pH of this diet soda is 3.1. That is very acidic. This soda will erode your teeth. Remember this photo? The outer layer demineralized at pH 5.5 and the inner layer demineralized at pH 6.2. Anything with a lower pH will erode your teeth. I've also noticed that many patients uh, drink lemon water with, to get their vitamin C and they make a drink like this and they drink it throughout the day. It depends on how much lemon you put into the water, but lemon juice has a pH level between two and three. If you drink it throughout the day, you're going to demineralize your teeth. I've seen patients with so much of their tooth eroded away due to acid exposure. Perhaps if you could reduce the frequency of exposure and drink lemon water once a day rather than throughout the day, it might be beneficial for you. I've also seen patients who have the habit of biting wedges of lemon throughout the day. This habit may not be the best thing for your teeth. I'll end with milk. Although milk has calcium, it, ca it has natural sugar producing food for the bacteria. It is most often associated with tooth decay in infants and very young children. It is often referred to as baby bottle tooth decay. Baby bottle tooth decay happens when liquids with sugar like milk or formula leads to tooth decay in infants. To wrap it all off, the frequency of acidic exposure and stickiness of sugary food are a very important factors to consider when it comes to tooth decay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. See you soon.